Welcome back to the final lesson in chapter 12 called Save for the Web. Save for the Web is an important command because it allows you to reduce your file size so that you can export it for the web, Facebook, or email. You do not want to send the original size of your photo because it will take forever to download. If it takes forever for download, guess what? People are not going to view it. So all this time you spend correcting and beautifying your photo and sharpening won't matter if the person doesn't want to look at it. Okay, so let's go to File, Save for Web. And it will tell me on my left the original 696k. Ouch. On the right, using a GIF, co GIF compression, which is over here, it's going to get me to a file size of 151, which is a little more manageable, which tells me it's going to take seven seconds to download at 256 kilobytes per second. Okay. You can click the zoom tool here if you want. And you can zoom, which will zoom in both. Double click it, it'll get you back to 100%. Um, you can use the hand tool and move around for each photo if it was blown up. So if I were to blow it up and then use the hand tool, I can move it up and down. Okay. You can choose presets that Adobe has come up with. Okay, I rarely choose these. Um, there's also an option that you can optimize to file size. So let's say that you had to get your file size to a certain um, setting for advertising on the web. You can choose 50K, let's say, for example, and this will do it automatically. You can also click here and you can choose to see different download types according to you know cable, DSL, and of those sorts. Okay, let me Okay. Um, what I usually do is I will go over here and choose JPEG for photographs. GIF is for more like graphics and solid colors. JPEGs are for things that have a nice gradation or photographs that have many, many, many colors. I never choose maximum because maximum is 100% and that's just basically at that point overhead. So it's not really doing anything to your photo. I usually will pick very high and see what I can get away with. Because this whole dialog box is basically how much can I get away with and how much can I reduce my file size. And it's a balance between those two. And if you see I got it down to 101 which is pretty good. These days 100k is okay. Back in the old days it used to be 50k. Um, but these days you can get away with it because most people have um, high-speed internet. Um, if you can reduce it further, of course, go for it. And here, if you choose very high, you can further customize it by uh, reducing the quality. Okay, you can include the ICC profile if you want. Uh, this is telling you the original size is 309 pixels um, width by 575 pixels in height. You can constrain it more if you want. You can go to percentage and say, I want to reduce it to 50%, which will now make it 155 pixels width by 289. And then click apply, and you'll see the reduction. And look how much I reduced it. So it was 175. Now I reduce it down to 26. So that will be two seconds. <laughs> okay, now whatever you do here is independent of your file. So you will not affect your file that you are working on. And that's another thing that's great about Save for the Web. Always make sure this is checked to constrain proportions. Okay. You can choose GIF if you wanted to. You can see there's not that much difference. It does look a little bit duller. You can reduce the colors to say 4. And it looks nice in a way, right? Get it down to 6K. What's nice about GIF, um, GIF is it accepts transparency. JPEG doesn't. Okay, and you can choose a diff ring and the type of mat if you want. Okay, so let me go back here and choose PNG8 is basically um, uh, basically GIF uh, with less compression if I'm right. No, no. GIF compresses better than PNG8. So PNG8 allows for a little bit more and it tends to be more of a higher file size than GIF. So if, if GIF is at 6.65, PNG8 is at 7, PNG24 should be more. See, look at that. It jumped up to 93. And the PNGs uh, along with GIF allow for transparency. Okay, so let me go back to JPEG, and let's see how far I can go. I can probably get it to maybe high. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I can get it down to 14K from 175, which was originally 696. So if I click OK, so now if I click OK, this will ask me where would you like to save this, and you probably will have a folder to where you would save it, but let's say, for example, I want to save it on my desktop. It's going to save it as a JPEG extension, and then you'd rename it at this point. Um, and if you save it as a JPEG, obviously this is not going to over, uh, overwrite your file because it was in a PSD format. Okay, so that's the beauty of Save for the Web. 